Hello everyone, welcome to Cassiano Easy Math. So this video is about solving another exponential equation. 5 to the x power plus 25 raised to the power of x equals 650. And it's clear that we're solving for the value of x. Uh, before we start, for those new to my channel, please like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate it. Alright, let's start solving. First, we focus on the second term, 25 raised to the x power. And 25, the base 25 can be written the same way as. So in here, 25 can be written as 25 is equal to 5 squared. Alright, so let's do that on here. We have to write the equation again. It's 5 raised to the power x plus 25 power x equals 650. And in here, we substitute the value of the base 25. Let's do that so that, it, that it, this becomes 5 to the power x plus 25 is 5 squared raised to the power x equals 650. And on the second term, we're using the power rule. That is a raised to m raised to n equals a raised to m times n. So that means we're multiplying the uh, exponent. So let's do that again. So that's 5 raised to x power plus 5 raised to x raised to the second power, 650. So we interchange the, uh, the places of those exponents. And it's the same way in here. A raised to n times m. That's the same way. All right. So that's uh, interchanging the uh, exponent. It's the same way, multiplying both. It doesn't matter. Just we just switch places. And if you take, if you notice the equation is looking more like a, a quadratic equations because a quadratic equation, I should say, since this one right here, second term has a second power. So in here we arrange the equation. Let's uh, let's switch this position right here. This this becomes. 5 raised to x square and plus this first now goes to the second term 5 raised to x equals 650 and now the equation looks exactly like um, a quadratic equation since you get a, a second power over here the exponent 2 and now so let's substitute the value of 5x to another we're introducing another variable to substitute the value of 5 to the x power. So let's uh, let uh, y be 5 to the power of x. So let's represent this value of 5 power x over here. Replace it with y. So let's do that. So that is now y squared plus y was 650. Now transposing 650 to the left side of the equation that will become y squared plus y minus 650 equals 0. Now this quadratic equation y squared plus y minus 650 equals 0. zero. Now we focus on this term, the constant, and this term first we tweak this uh, since this is the middle term is y and the factors of 650 uh, factors of 650 that is 25 and 26 and you can substitute the value of y in instead of y we replace that with 25y and 26y and since the sign of the second second term is positive that means we're taking the the positive sign for the bigger factor that means we're taking this positive sign on that one 26y and this just takes negative sign all right so let's uh, substitute that for the value of y right here that is now y squared okay minus 25y plus 26y minus 650 
equals zero. And if you know this, on this part, we're doing the uh, factoring by by grouping. So if you know this, we take this one right here. The common here is y, and uh, we group this together. The common here is factor of 26 out of this one right here. Since 650, factor of 650 is 25 and 26. So we are factoring out 26 out of this group. All right, so let's do that. And in here, common factor is y. So factor out y from this group. That means y minus 25 plus, since the, we, we factor out 26 out of this, and 26 out of 650, that's 26. We're taking out 26, factoring it out. 26 times the quantity, y minus 25 now equal to zero. We further simplify the equation. That is now we're taking factoring out this both common term. And since we have this one factor out, so that is y plus 26 times the quantity y minus 25. And now this is equal to zero. So we had two factors now. And now we can uh, equate these two factors now to zero. So that is y plus 26 equals to zero. And the right side will be y minus 25 equals zero. All right, simplify this equation. y is now equal to negative 26. Moving 26 positive to the other side will become negative 26. And here, y minus 25 moving 25 to the right side become positive 25 from negative to the other side become positive 25 now becomes y is 25 and y is negative 26 and but since the value of y is just a substituted value variable is just a substituted variable in, in place of 5 raised to x so from earlier y is equal to 5 raised to x that's from here we substituted the value of 5 power x with y so we'll be using this uh, equation so from here substitute the value of y negative 26 to the value of 4 5 raised to x power now that is now becomes 5 raised to x power plus negative 26 and if you notice value of negative 26 equating to 5 raised to x power is a false statement because the value of this term 5 raised to x power cannot be a negative value cannot be a negative value so we don't we don't need this as a value of y negative 26 so we'll be using this one instead if substitute the value of y to 25 that is now 5 raised to x plus 25 and since 25 can be written differently as 25 is equal to 5 is squared substitute this value to that that is now 5 is squared I mean 5 raised to x equals 5 is squared now we have come to this point that the base of both sides of the equation is the same and in this case, we are now equating, since the base are the same, we conclude the exponent are the same. So we equate value of x is equal to the exponent on the right side of the equation, 2. So that's the value of x. Now, if we were to check our solution, we supply the value of x equal to 2 to the original equation from earlier, 5 raised to x plus 25 raised to x is equal to 6, 650. So it's from here. So let's do that. And from here, I have written the original equation again. 5 raised to x plus 25 raised to x equals 650. Now we're using the value of x is equal to 2. Substitute that value over here. 5 raised to 2 of 5, 5 squared plus 25 squared 
plus 650. Now 5 squared is 25 plus 25 squared is 625. And question mark is this equal to 650? So if we add this up, 625 plus 25, that means 650. That's exactly equal to 650. All right, so we have just confirmed our answer. X is equal to 2 is the correct answer. All right. So we have just confirmed that the value is X equal to 2 is the correct answer. So that's our final answer. All right. All right, so that's all for now. And uh, for those new to my channel, please like and subscribe for more videos. Hit that notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload new videos. All right. Thank you for watching and have a great day to everyone. See you in the next videos. Bye.